Right. So this is a, an example uh, of uh, a case study of 4.0. So this was, uh, I take this from the, a, a white paper, an industry paper. As you can see, the process is at the bottom. And before, uh, all these process and machines, the executive at the ERP level would not know how much the machine is working. But now with 4.0, you can get all this data and then you can analyze it at the ERP and the MES, uh, at the MES level. So this is um, the main benefit of 4.0. Now, if we go to the next slide, I look at the reasons why a factory should or should not go to three uh, to 4.0. So the first point I want to make is that companies without ERP systems and MES systems. So MES is a manufacturing, uh, manufacturing uh, planning system. If you do not have those systems in place, there is not really much benefit from going to 4.0. It, it'd be good enough to just stay in 3.0. Now, majority of automation costs occur in upgrading from 2.0 to 3.0. Now, the final thing that I want to note is that going from 3 to 4.0 is very complex because most integrators like my company, we only focus on the plant floor. But in 4.0, you need... Uh, integrators who are very experienced with IT systems like ERP systems like SAP for example. Now most integrators who are doing automation do not have this expertise. Now so if you're going to from 3.0 to 4.0 you must know that it's it's a whole new level of integrators experience. And a lot of projects have failed in Indonesia because uh, the integrators are not yet experienced at these two different worlds. Because most of the time, we do not need to know IT system as an automation provider. But in 4.0, you really need to know IT system. Uh, especially going with third-party software like SAP uh, or Oracle. And, and this is not something that we have had uh, or other uh, integrators in the industry have had. So you must be careful when, when going to 4.0 because it's a whole level of complexity. Now, here, here's uh, some tips on, on, uh, based on the experience that we have done. Now, in general, the most important part of an automation project is the integrator, right? So the integrator is the people who put the system in for you. So for example, uh, if, you, if you are building a house, the, the key component is the, 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 the contractor. So the person who, who know how to make the floor the, the flat, how to make the walls good, um, how to make the bricks really good and strong. That's the main thing because as you know, when building a house, you can have really good materials, but if the person installing it is not competent, you can have a, ba a very bad house, even though the material is good because the installation is the key part. So you want, to want, uh, you want to find an integrator that has a lot of experience and have a good support team because it, each project is never good from the first day. They it always need improvement. So the integrator needs to have a good team, an experienced team. Now the second, oh, here, here, here's a photo of a, a badly done work. As you can see, uh, the cabling is, is not well done. So a bad integrator can mean that 
you will have very hard time to upgrade your system or if something is wrong it'll be very hard for you to find out where it is wrong as you can see here it's it's a it's a spaghetti uh, spaghetti situation you don't know which one is wrong and which is uh, which is where so this is a um, a bad job right now the second most important part of automation is the control system the control system is the brain of of the automation factory now the brain is the one that is on all the time and it works all the time so in, in most cases it's usually a plc or in a bigger factory it's a dcs and then you want to go with brands that are reputable with a long uh, track record so we we bring the brand of honeywell which is from usa but usually the most common brands in this field uh, is japanese uh, or European, uh, mainly Germany, uh, as well as USA. So you want something that has higher reliability and it's a proven, uh, proven product. Because if, if, if this component fail, your factory will not operate. So if it takes one day to fix, you will lose one day of production. And that is a lot of money. So the price difference between a, a, a cheap brand and a good brand is very small. So it makes no sense to save money on something like that. Now, the final part of the automation is the field device. So these are things like your pumps, uh, valves, um, pressure sensor, temperature sensor. Now, this is the the part where there is so many choices. Usually, uh, the best quality products are from USA, Germany, uh, Japan. The middle quality is usually Korea, Taiwan brands, right? And then the lower price, where you have probably the uh, very, very cheap price, but also uh, maybe the quality is not so good, is, is from China and India. Right, so these two countries usually, um, for factories who are just trying out automation and they don't have a lot of uh, a budget, they usually start off with Chinese brand or Indian brand. And then as they see the benefit of automation and they have more, uh, more cash flow, they will upgrade to the other brands above it. Now, usually in most cases, this is the part where um, companies will try to reduce their budget because even Chinese or Indian brands, they will still work. Uh, you may not get a long lifetime, but they will still work and the accuracy uh, it depends on what you, what you buy. Right now, here's the other part that's, uh, that, that we see a lot of companies use to reduce the, the capex, the capital expenditure uh, cost of an upgrade. So the, the, one of the bigger cost benefit is to skip using a consultant or an EPC company. So uh, we have worked with many companies who try to automate. And instead of hiring a consultant company or an EPC company, they hire an expert as the project leader. And this project leader is essentially the person with the design and the knowledge. So usually this project leader has worked in a factory that is already automated. So you, you can understand what the other companies have done um, and then they will help you to make your factories a lot better. This method is a lot cheaper than going with a consultant or an EPC company. So EPC company is like the main contractor of a factory automation project. Now, as a benefit, you get not only cost savings, but your team will also know your factory automation a lot better because they execute the project themselves. And then you can bring uh, companies like, like my company to do the, um, the, the actual field uh, products.